Hey everybody, this is Drew, and um, I'm going to show some new software that I acquired yesterday. I've had a little time to play around with a little bit. Uh, the software is called Notion, and it is basically for music notation editing, um, and it's I think it's pretty amazing. Uh, and this is coming from somebody that's used Finale print music probably for 10 years, uh, so... I, I haven't experienced the full evolution of notation software, but um, this this really amazes me. And at the price point, it's pretty great. It costs about $50. Um, and let me start off by saying some things that I do like about Notion that I did not like about print music. Uh, basically, print music, the screen redraw was really bad. You had to constantly... Um, redraw the screen by doing view redraw like in the menu um, also the sounds on print music were terrible it used basically your system MIDI sounds and it was horrible it sounded like a Nintendo game maybe better than a Nintendo game but uh, Notion really has some great sounding uh, sounds on here so it's pretty cool um, another thing that I did not like about uh, Finale Print, it used to be called Sierra Print Music, Finale Print Music, is it was kind of hard to follow for my students in class, and Notion definitely is a lot easier to follow. All right, so anyway, um, I don't know all the features of this yet, and I'm still learning, but I'm going to go ahead and talk a little bit about it. So when you open up Notion, you have this screen right here. Basically, it has some ready-made templates. Uh, most of these are not really useful to me. Well, maybe lead sheet, jazz combo, rock band. But uh, it also has some your recent files. You can also import or browse. Or you can come over here to file menu and uh, just pick a template. But I'm just going to do... Well, for, for now, I'm going to open up a project that was already made. I did not make this. This is from uh, Tchaikovsky's Nutcracker, the Ch uh, Chinese Dance and uh, let me go ahead and switch over my audio driver because for some reason ASIO drivers do not record with my software that I use to record my screen. So let me go into File, Preferences, Audio, and go into Wasapi. I guess that's how you pronounce it. And I'm going to pick that. There we go. Hit OK. And I want you just to hear what it sounds like, um, the, the sounds. Like I said, Notion comes with about six gigabytes of samples that are used in conjunction with the score writing software. So here's just a little sample of that sample. Nice reverb, high quality sounds. Pretty organic sounding. Of course, you can export any of this to Music XML, which basically you can import that into your other Sibelius or Finale. Also, you can scan music into an XML format and import it. It's very compatible in that sense. Okay. Sounds pretty awesome. I like that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do a new one. And uh, when you do a new file, it basically comes up with a screen that lets you set up the score. Hey, Audrey. And I'm going to do a keyboard, piano. So it just shows you what basically that looks like and then you exit score setup let me close out this other one make sure my drivers are still the same yeah they are that's good all right well then let's go ahead and overview this real quick um i guess i'll start down here with the entry palette um text lyrics rehearsal markers chords 
Then over here you've got your naturals and sharps. Uh, your note entries, rests. I like something I like about this that uh, with finale print music, I had to always, if I wanted a quarter rest, I had to put a quarter note in and then tell it to change it to a rest, which kind of makes sense. But this is a little more intuitive. You want a quarter rest, you just click on a quarter rest and you slap it in there. Pretty cool. All right. Also, um, another difference from uh, print music is this right here the multi voice entry um, print music had theirs down here and they just called it layers like layer one layer two layer three layer four here is pretty much the same you can enter voice and layers or I think you can even do both one and two voices right there so it lets you automatically it's so like say for instance you wanted to on uh, the treble clef up here you wanted uh, a whole note let me zoom in a little bit. I don't like the zoom too much. I wish, I know there's a keyboard shortcut, but I wish there was like a little magnifying glass. You could just, you know. So you wanted a whole note in the treble clef. And then you want to add quarter note, little melody on top of it. Well, you, you can't really do it unless you do like the second layer. So let's do an eighth note. No, let's do a quarter note. I ain't got time for all that. There, just kind of listen to that. All right. So that's kind of cool. Um, it's kind of a little more intuitive, and I, th I think, than print music was. Undo all that. All right. So you got your notes. You got some dynamics. Crescendos. Decrescendos. Pedals, glissandos, trills, up and down, bow. All right. Very cool. Got the old whammy bar of vibrato. <laughs> so these are good for uh, notating guitar tabs. Pretty cool slide ups. Hammer ons, pull offs, taps, fretboard tap. Really neat stuff wide vibrato this is pretty cool this is would be really useful to somebody doing guitar tabs um your uh, key signatures meter time signature uh quarter note values fermatas things like that all right you got your clefts you got your uh, codas repeats double bar lines measure lines Pedals, pedal down, pedal up. All right, pretty cool. So that's the entry palette. Really neat stuff. Um, in addition to that, you have these other menus that you can add or take away. It has a piano entry uh, pal uh, tool here, which is very useful. I think Print Music had one too, but this is really nice. And depending on the instrument you use, it, it um, shows you the range, the possible range of that instrument. Like, for instance, let me close this out. No. Let's do a new one. And let's add, let's add a woodwind instrument. Let's add a flute. All right. So, yeah, flute. See how the piano only shows this much. A realistic range for a flute. Because you're not going to be playing down here with a flute or way up here. Not going to happen. Sorry, guys. That's kind of cool. And um, so that's available. Not to mention you can do single note entry or you can do chord entry, which is very useful. Um, like some kind of audition you can audition the chord. All right. Um, in addition to that entry, you can also enter things with a little drum pad here. It has several sets here. Well, not several. Funk, jazz, rock, world, little kits. I don't know what that is. Maybe it was reverse. I don't, I don't know what that is. What idea what that is. I'll figure it out. That's really neat and useful. Um, also... There is an extensive 
chord tool with charts of the chords. Um, sim not symbols, but uh, you know, chord names. You know, very extensive, major, minors, minor seventh, diminished, augmented, suspensions. Not to mention, you can add second, flat five, sharp five, six seventh, major seventh, ninth, flat ninth, all those things. You can um, tell what root note you want to use with those chords. So if you want like a C over a D, which is pretty pretty common, I would say. Um, you can have default style, minimal style, where it takes away the name. Or you can just do like the old jazz way and uh, where they use like a minus for minor, plus for major. I mean, uh, not major. Uh, it's still the same. Plus is uh, augmented. But the triangle is what I'm trying to say. Triangle for major. Pretty useful. Use that a lot in jazz band. Uh, Let's see what else. Nice chords. And you have a guitar fretboard entry. I don't know why you would personally want to write flute music with a guitar, but if you were using, a, if you're doing guitar music, that would be very, very helpful. You could do chords as well. So very nice entry. Hey, my daughter's call me. Yeah, man, I love your outfit. It's really awesome. Hey, 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 what are you doing? All right, all right, stop. No, don't play my guitar right now. Oh, lordy. I love children. Um, and then another feature I really like is the mixer. The mixer is pretty awesome. Um, let me just go in here and open up another song here. We'll do this one. Lunar Spheric. A macaronic. I don't know. Good lord. All right, let's do it. Let's watch the mixer. It's pretty cool. Pretty nice mixer. A lot of violins. Pretty good sound of violins. Nice violins. It's hard to make a violin sound good on a synthesizer at that higher register. Oh my god. Dude, that's some good sound of violins. So anyway, you get the idea of what the mixture looks like. It's really cool. You can change the volumes. You can change the pan of anything. Pretty cool solo mute. It's got different buses, insert effects. Um, something else I really found to be cool about Notion is the fact that, let me close this out. Um, you can also, for an instrument, you can add your own VST instruments. Like I have Reactor 5. I'll click on Reactor 5. It opens up Reactor. I'll pull open maybe Carbon, one of my synths on Reactor. Oops, not that. So, um, put some notes in real quick. Close. Let's exit score. And it shows my little sounds, has my little computery sounds from Reactor. And, uh, let's put some notes in. Just put some, just put some random notes in here. Did that just let me put in five beats in one measure? How did it do that? That's something that uh, Sierra, I mean, a finale print music never let me do if it was 4-4 four, four meter. What the heck? Does it automatically change your meter for you? That's bizarre. This That would be like an error message if I tried to do that in print music. So, But it's not reflecting... Maybe they think it's a pickup. I don't know. 
But uh, they're not changing the meter, so that's kind of weird. Let's hit stop. I wonder what. Let's play it, see if it changes it. Yeah. That's kind of weird. It looks like it highlighted all the red notes. It highlighted in red all the notes that are um, actually too many beats for that measure because, you know, 4 4 should only have four beats. But that's neat that it still lets you do it. Maybe you want to do that and go back and manually change the meter yourself. Hmm. But my whole point of this was to show that it does let you use VST synthesizers. And that's pretty cool as well. Um, like I said, it's got cool import and export. You can export audio. You can export MIDI. Print it out. It's pretty what you see is what you get kind of um, interface. You know, print music had a lot of different colors. It was confusing. This is like, bam. When you put it on there, it's it's there. Uh, see any other cool menus here? Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of cool things. Just kind of showing you that score options. You can download different expansions. You can go on the website. It has uh, expansion bundles. They're kind of expensive. I wouldn't. I wouldn't buy any. But woodwinds. Let's see how much this costs. Just for a woodwind section. Okay, $60 for a woodwind section bundle. I don't think I would pay for that. But whatever. Maybe you want it. I thought the woodwind sounded pretty good to me already. So maybe it's different section arrangements. I don't know. Anyway, that's kind of an overview of Notion. Um, things I like about it. And uh, I think it's got some real good promise. It's also... Like I said, it's tightly integrated with PreSonus Studio One. Um, you can export things. Uh, and I, don't, I don't know if you know this, but also with Studio One Professional, you can um, basically create a audio track recording. Hello, testing, one, two, three. You can record audio and uh, pitch correct it, quantize it, and then export your own voice in notation format over to Notion, which is really cool. It's really neat software. Um, it works great together with, with Presona Studio One. I'm glad they acquired that from Reason. I think that's who they got it from, or somebody. I forgot who they got it from. I don't know what I'm talking about. But anyway, thanks for watching.